So excited to be live with y'all. <laughs> Nicole and I have been gathering our supplies, getting ready to create some, some fun, fun, oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> some fun stuff <laughs> with y'all. Um, she's grabbing some paper, and while she's doing that, I'll tell you the supplies we're going to use. If you're a subscriber, you probably already have some of these things on hand, like a journal. And um, we have been using these gelatos. Nicole is here with our paper. <laughs> Come on <laughs> in. Hi. Well, it's a momentary sprinting for blank paper that was needed. We won't ask any hard questions until she gets her breath back. We also have Keenan here. Hello. He's our um, hype man, cheerleader, art guy. You know, art guy. Camera guy is what I was trying to say. Camera. And we also have Mary doing Instagram Live for us. Mary. Say hi, Mary. Hello. <laughs> We're excited. Okay, so if you have been following art journaling and you don't know who Nicole is, that's crazy, but it's okay. She does <laughs> and lettering, and she's awesome, and she's a really talented artist, and I um, just feel really lucky that I get to work with her. It's so fun. So thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. So um, the long yap is usually just like a bonus. In Louisiana, we call you know like some a little something extra a lawn yap so that's what this is and um we just wanted to share a little something extra project for you and we talked about what we wanted to do and then we thought let's just have fun so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna have fun so i'll tell you what supplies to kind of have gathered as we decide what we want to do so your journal some gelatos is what we're using these are like i think the best way i can describe it is like a watercolor lipstick like that's what it feels like and they're these are, amazing yes and these ones are shimmery and iridescent that came in the subscription box but um it feels weird on your lips just did you put it on your lips i don't I'm know pretty sure why that's would you not think what that we do with those but i mean all right <laughs> um gel medium and um if you have questions about gel medium i've seen in our facebook group um some questions and it's so fun because someone asked a question and then the group answered. I didn't even have to jump in. Yeah, they they the knew what they're doing part. there. But I'll answer more questions about that if you want. And let's see. Oh, our pit pin, which is like a new favorite pin these days. Which um, I had never used before. And it's a really, it reminds me of a micron pen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it like, yeah, it's like a micron pen. But for some reason, my micron pins, like I would press too hard and I would damage that tip. But I feel like this holds up a little better for me. I that don't makes know. sense. And then maybe we'll use a round eight or, you know, Mavis, the half inch oval mop. Look at me being able to say oval mop now. Nailed it. First uh, try. I would always say Moval because I just get nervous and mix everything up. <laughs> so then I named her Mavis, so I would have to say oval There we mop. go. Okay. So anyway, this is one of our pages from the project, but I was thinking maybe we could use something like this with another spin on it. So we can use some copy paper. So if you have like just paper that's in your printer, that have that handy um scissors or an exacto knife if we want to be doing some fussy cutting like this um you guys i'm so excited <laughs> there's say all the things? so many things <laughs> and this is all new to me too so i was doing lettering for a little while with let's make art and then jesse came on and i was like what are all these cool new supplies i had no idea <laughs> so earlier i was playing with them and she introduced me to all these and it's a it it's it's amazing to see how many products there are out there and you're showing everyone in such a non-intimidating intimidating way so i want you to know that you're doing such an amazing job introducing these fun tools thanks and yeah so yeah i introduced her a little bit earlier you can see oh, yeah. some of the things she was doing in her journal which i love um but i said don't feel like you have to know everything because you can ask these questions on camera and then everybody will know the answers to the questions so. yeah so i'm here with you guys too okay so we were thinking okay so this um, box is all about positive affirmations and we were thinking it might be fun to make a flower that says like I am and then the petals are some affirmation statements um, so that's what we're thinking but it could be it could go a whole bunch of different ways so we're just gonna have fun so we were thinking if you were nervous about drawing right in your journal we could doodle like we did this this one we doodled a couple of different things on the paper and then we cut out what we liked and we put it on there with the gel matte medium oh yeah yeah there's a couple different ways we can do it um so we could do that or you can draw right in your journal if you want it's really up to you so i'm thinking i might play around with a wash with the gelatos and i brought some uh, samples of the other sets that we have on our website so we could demo maybe the new colors and whatever questions you guys have while we're yeah let me pull us um, up on here talking we can answer those 
and we're on our page, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know how to do all that. I got it. Just let me pull this up. Okay. I'm gonna positive learn. affirmation. My bad. <laughs> Okay, okay, now I can answer guys' questions. So, Jesse and I are here, Jesse's here to answer your questions. So, I'll be able to ask her for us. Okay. And I have YouTube pulled up, so I'll be watching that a bit. Oh, thanks. Terry said, Is Nicole a lanyap? <laughs> she is a bonus. She's just a bonus of a human being. I just got it. A little something extra. <laughs> I can do that. I love that. Awesome, so fun. Okay, we got. Simone says, I love that the gelatos work so well with stencils. Oh, yeah, we have yeah. the stencil. So this was the stencil that we did um, for one of our projects, and we used the gel medium. Now, you could use um, modeling paste or other things with um, the stencil as well, and I taught that in some other um, tutorials. And uh, But this one just gives you a, not quite as like thick, but it still mm. recedes the paint, so you kind of get that nice texture, but not as pronounced as like the like what we did in, um, in past things with the light and fluffy modeling paste. And I think that, Ke Keenan, didn't you do a project with the light model? I did. I brought it down here today. You did? I did. Can we show that now? I was or challenged. Wait Deb you said I had to show it today's, in today's Ooh, live. Deb told you. You got to do it. We I have actually so did many. two pages because I got excited about the lipstick okay, coloring. Well, how, how did, can Kenny come, like, just show it right here on the Do top I have pen? to? Should I? Come on around. I'm not wearing my apron. Oh. So does okay. that mean you don't have your mic on you? I just can't see what I'm showing either. Okay, here we go. I can show. Hello, everyone. Okay, now tell us what you did. Okay, so I used this uh, marshmallow paste. It does not smell or taste like marshmallow paste. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. it's called light and fluffy modeling paste. That's the one. So I used that with a stencil, and I just smeared it all on there, and then I did different directions so I could get all these little textures, mm. okay, because I liked it. And mm. then I used another thing because I actually forgot what I was going to do in the video. Uh, as a circle, just blank. Yeah, and something kind of this size, and you just uh -huh. kind of mask it off. And okay. I went around it, and then I kind of gave it a wash. But then also, I decided to do colors of the page. I love it. How did okay. it feel making that? Well, great. <laughs> it was fun. And your lettering. And my lettering. Yeah. I used pencil, and then I used the Brad Pitt pen. The, the Brad Pitt pen. <laughs> I mean, that's for y'all. So, so I can call him Brad and her Mavis. We've got really great names. Thanks, Keenan. You're welcome. <laughs> Jennifer says, looks good, Keenan. Linda. Oh, hi, Linda. Linda says, Keenan, you're the best mar marshmallow face. 10 <laughs> exclamation points. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's actually 10 there. <laughs> Literally. Awesome. Paula says, awesomeness. Yeah, it was fun because we all were playing with this, and I had no idea what any of that stuff was. So I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> I like I like playing with supplies. That's half the fun for me. So, um, And you're here to teach us. Yeah. Okay, so this is the stencil that we did in that other project. And then we did this, um, I trust where I am on my artistic journey, which I think is an important thing to recognize where you are. So we're not being intimidated by Keenan and his cool page. We're all in our own lane here. It's going to be great. <laughs> no one should be intimidated by my page. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to turn to a blank page here, and we'll just have fun. Did you already talk about the I am part of it? Oh, yeah, so a little bit. I, I said we were wanting to do a flower with kind of an I am in the oh, yes. middle and then the petals maybe could be your affirmation statements. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. So serendipitous, we have the coolest community and I just feel like I get art cheerleaders all the time and um, Maggie sent me this book in the mail and it was called Little Book of Affirmations. And I was actually developing this month's thing a couple of months before when she sent it to me. And I, I just, I'm obsessed with this book and all of the really cool affirmations in there. So if you can't think of an affirmation, there's lots of cool affirmations out there. Um, and I just, I was really inspired by that. And I was just like, so pumped like maggie was like in tune and knew i needed that right then without knowing what i was planning so thanks maggie <laughs> you guys are the best that is such a cute it's book beautiful too. and i i think um it's important to like set an affirmation or you know or, or, or think about something that you feel good about and it can be not something that you totally feel right now like maybe something you're reaching for but um also not so far that you can't believe it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's something that, because I am statements, it could either be things that you already know you are or something that you're, it's a goal or you're trying to cultivate in your life. Because I think sometimes we can often be really hard on ourselves. And so I always think of 
especially with creative stuff. Your instinct is to look at that. And I was doing it earlier. I was like, dang, I wish I didn't do that blue or I don't think that looks very good or I'm not being creative right now. And it's all these negative talk, talk, negative thoughts that go on in our head. So I think it's amazing that you introduce this as a theme for everyone that we can really hone in on whether one word or a phrase. And we were talking about a couple different ones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, well, I, this is one of my favorites that I found in this book. And I think I actually set it as mm. an intention when we're creating, sometimes we set an intention just to like take a deep breath and like get in the moment. And this yeah. one is, I'm willing to be present just in this moment. And I think that keeps us out of the comparison, out of the worry and the anxiety and all that that comes with like wanting to make something cool like right now. Let's just be in the moment, right? Yeah. That's so amazing. this is a great book and I love it. And there's lots of things out there, but we can come up with. So you had a couple um, statements that you were liking. Well, yeah, when I was doing it, it's similar to what you were saying was because when I was drawing, I wrote, I am present. I'm on this kind of journey of I'm growing and I think a lot of what I'm going through right now is trying to be open to things. Mm -hmm. So I was writing that. These are different ways that we can show you. But then Jesse was saying how maybe you just write it out. Yeah. And so I was just playing with different things. So I think as you were doing your own journal, maybe if there are different words, maybe it's multiple words. But try. I always think of when I think of different words or mottos. I try not to put so much pressure on it because I think it's really easy to be like, I need the perfect word. What is that word I'm striving for? And then that kind of defeats the purpose mm -hmm. of what we're trying to do. So maybe it is relax. I am relaxed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I think this journaling and Jesse's introduced this new way of seeing it for me. So I think it really is such a meditative practice and... Yeah, I just can't praise Oh, that. I just remembered an example that I saw in the group. Someone said, I don't think I'm yet comfortable saying I'm an artist, which everyone was cheering mm. them on to say an artist, but she said, I feel more comfortable with I am whole. So, yeah, yeah isn't that cool? Yeah, which I love. Okay, I'm going to need some it. paper, and we're just going to, like, chat and sketch and read some questions, and it won't be very formal. Just, just hang out. So are so you excited. going for this one? Yeah, I think I'm going to try... I think I like the idea of sketching it out on my paper and cutting it out and putting it on there and um, then I'll create a wash so because you're here I want some um, feedback on my lettering Let's so I'm thinking that I want to do like maybe a shape like this for my petal well maybe I want it to be a little pointed now what is your advice on trying to fit words into a shape so I think it's always cool to allow whatever shape you draw to be your canvas. So I say that let's draw our shapes first. Okay. So whether you're doing big petals, when I was doing this earlier, I was just kind of drawing either curves. And also Jessie was showing me how she taught you guys how to doodle and draw. And I think maybe this goes along with our being present and relaxed where when we're doing this, we're just drawing curves. Or as we've taught in the kids' box, we're just drawing smiley faces in all different directions. Mm -hmm. So just put different curves together, or Jesse's is a little bit more curved, and it's kind of like a football. Ooh. Yeah, and almost like a teardrop. Kind of looks like a lazy a lemon. Petal. Oh, a lazy <laughs> lemon. That, yeah. So there's different things that I think you can either, I, when we were thinking about this and brainstorming, I know with lettering, it's a very intimidating thing. So how about we use this copy paper just as our sketching pad. So we're just gonna draw different shapes and then we can do our lettering after. So that way you don't feel like you have to get it perfect in your journal. There's a lot of different ways you can approach it. So we're just gonna draw. Yeah, and I'm not even getting my flower perfect on here. I figured if I get these shapes and I cut them out, then I can arrange my petals. Oh, yeah. Longer. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I was just draw. I wasn't even thinking about my flower. I was just oh, kind of Oh, good. Drawing. So we're on the same page. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm just kind of drawing. So as we're going, I'm going to read some oh, yeah. comments. Marlena says, this theme of positive affirmations nails why I became a subscriber. Oh. Aww. To allow myself to simply explore and learn and doodle. And I agree, Nicole is a perfect lawn yop. Well, thanks. <laughs> that is really sweet. That's amazing that that's... It's so sweet. And Jesse works so hard on thinking about these things for you guys. I know it might not... She doesn't want... I'm going to just boast about her right <laughs> now. It's something that we all see her thinking so much about what you guys... The experience you have, the... The intention behind what she's doing is so meticulous. And so it's amazing 
Thank you, Marlena, for saying that and boasting Jesse up for being your guys' champion through this art art journal journey. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to keep saying things like that through this, out this. I'm just going to blush or something. I don't know what I'm going to do here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi says, been a while since I've watched any LMA videos. So hello. Hello, Naomi. Info on the blank journals you're using. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, do you have info on those? Um, yeah, I'll tell you about these. And I think we have some more in stock. Is that true, Mary? That is true. Yes. Okay. I know. Um, that just, is this, true. This whole year has been yes. a little bit harder getting things sourced and getting it, you know, from one port to another and all that. But I created this journal with Carpe Diem because I wanted you to have quality paper, but I didn't want you to be overwhelmed with this like $50 sketchbook that's like big and, you know, now you feel like you're going to break it or something, right? right? Or you're so, intimidating even start it. Right. So I wanted it to have like quality paper, but smaller and less pages so that you could feel like you filled this theme and you can move on and then you could go to the next one. And if you didn't feel great about maybe your first couple of tries, that's okay. Fresh start next month, right? Like every month's a fresh start. So um, yeah, it's got really thick paper. It's, it's, I think it's called a silk linen. So it does really well when you're building layers and collaging and using lots of thick paint. Um, but it also still does like a little bit of um, watercolor wash as well. Like I can still get blooms on there yeah. and all of that. So that's really cool. And um, and it's just that that travel size, right? So um, that's that's our journal. Did I answer all the things about that? <laughs> yeah, it's a really great product. Yeah, so we got some of these available um, individually for sale, which hasn't been an opportunity for us for a while because we have to take care of our subscribers first, but there's more. And I know she already said this, but she literally took a lot of time to think about that paper. And you can't get that anywhere else. Nope. Except it lets me go. Exclusive. <laughs> so Catherine says, I'm drawing straight into the journal. That's one of erasers for, right? Yes. Yes. So there are different ones that we did where this one I drew straight in mm -hmm. the journal. Jesse and I are going to show you how you can kind of layer on top. So yes, there's so many different ways you can do this. Yeah, way to go for it, that's awesome. Okay, okay, keep going. So, Billy says, been working on your December box for dealing with 2020, thank you for it. <laughs> that's I awesome. had no idea when I was working on that theme that that, that year would be as crazy ad as it has been, so. Yeah, because you were pretty, yeah, yeah, with the themes. It's so neat how things just come together. Paula says the journal's perfect. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. Kim says, OMG, I made it. I got busy and almost forgot. Love your hair, Jesse. So nice seeing you, Nicole. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> well, my, my buddy used to paint and draw with. Beverly says you both hold your pens completely differently. I don't think oh, I noticed that. How do that's you nice really observation. Cool. Yeah, so great observation. That shows you everyone's so different. I don't know what I do. Well, I hold... Yes, yeah, so I remember, so when I would teach lettering classes, everyone does hold differently. I think people get intimidated and think you have to hold pens a certain way. Yes, with a, if you're using a calligraphy nib, which has a different shape, then you do need to hold it a certain way. Wait, what's a nib? A nib is the like pointed pen type of style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. more traditional. But yes, everyone holds pens differently. I hold mine a little bit closer. Okay, question. What do you say to people when they say, my handwriting is bad, I don't know that I can do lettering. Like, what's the difference between your handwriting and your lettering? So I always say that lettering is drawing. So especially as you're here with us, you'll see that we're not trying to make things perfect. We're not trying to be a font. This is your <laughs> handwriting. Yeah. So I think that we can easily compare and think that it's supposed to look a certain way. We love the imperfections. We love those type of things. So that's what I always say is we're just drawing lines that happen to look like the alphabet and creating I like words. I like that. So, and, there, and we're gonna show you actually a few different things. And as we go through this, if you're watching, if anyone is new to Let's Make Art, we have a beginner lettering series also that you can reference that we it shows a little mix of the different supplies that you can use if you want to dive into lettering so that's there for you i have a I, question from kim sorry okay. i interrupted no, jesse uh she said first of all she said i'm so excited a pop-up told me you were live right now i have a question <laughs> about the pit pen okay i have been washing color over it and it has been running how what? do i avoid that let it dry a little bit longer maybe if you just barely freshly drew with it then it might do that but if you let it dry it should be okay 
I'm sorry that happened. But I think if it's drier, then it should be good. That might be. I got a little excited when I was making my page and the uh, Brad Pitt pen was still a little bit wet. So I also had a little bit of bleeding. Really? Okay. Yes. Well, it's good to know. Did you have any or did you let yours dry? I don't I don't think so. I don't see any bleeding. But I could see how if it's not fully dry that that could happen. Yeah. Uh, Christy Ann says it does not need to be precious. Right? <laughs> That's right. Don't be precious. Yes. <laughs> precious. Okay. Let's go for it. So if you like to use pencil, I know Jesse was thinking of using pencil first or you can use pen first. What we were playing with is whatever word you have, and maybe you decide if you have different petals, if you have a really long word, maybe you pick a certain petal, maybe this one for a long word or a short word. But I really like to think of it, there's different ways. Maybe you write the word in the right kind. I was thinking about radiant, but I'm like, is that too long? Oh, no, let's do that. So where it's just written in there, and that's just my handwriting. Or if we do radiant and maybe we, let's see, you fit it in here. If you have a longer word, let's think of letters as different shapes. So what I mean by that is you would make your letter skinnier and more oval to fit if it's a longer word and you want to fit it. Oh, so maybe this R can come down more like that. Yeah, so I might naturally write radiant like that. Mm -hmm. But if I write my letters and think about as if they're just trying to squeeze into the spot, <laughs> is I'm going to make them skinnier like that. Okay. So, and maybe I'm gonna try all caps. And then a fun thing, so this one, I just wrote it inside. This one, I'm gonna take up the whole shape of my letter. Yes. And so I'm just kind of squeezing my letters in. Now, if you run out of room, then draw another one. This is the cool thing, we're just writing this on paper. Yeah, it's just paper. Yeah, but it's cool how you can use, so can you see how there's two different ways of doing it where you can either have it in between, and have negative space around it, or you can have it fill the whole space. Maybe we do... My emphasis is on the rad part of radiant. Yes! <laughs> okay, cool, yes! So what Jesse did is, one of the things we wanted to show you is, it's a technique called philography, which we have a whole series on this, and this is the 10th of our beginner lettering series. And what we're explaining is that you're adding a thicker downstroke. So this is a guide if you want to down, actually these are all free, so you can download this on our website. What's the process of getting that if you want it? Like if they have never downloaded anything from us before. Free? Tutorials? Learn. It's changed a couple times. We will get that for you. <laughs> Katie, put it in the comments for us. Yes, there's a few different spots, but we will we'll let you know. So the technique is that I also created this sheet to show you that, can you see that this is just regular lettering? Mm -hmm. But if we were to fill it in and follow the dotted lines and you color it in, I know this is a different color, but it creates this thicker stroke. Oh, I love that. And this is kind of a guide on where to put the fit because I think that's yes. where I struggle with. I'm like, should I always put it on the left? Can I go to the right? When do you go to the left or the right? Yeah. So typically what happens is that it's when your hand's going down. So meeting when my hand, so it's going across here and then it's going down. So that's why that's thicker. Oh. And then see how it's coming up here. Mm -hmm. So it's thin and then it's thicker there. So that's why you see the dotted line. Thick on the down. So yes, yeah, so the motto is thin on the up, thick on the down. But also I don't want you to get so hung on that, hung up on that if this is new. But this is why I love filigree because you can add it. So if I were to do radiant like that, I would add a thick spot here and I'm just making that line thicker. So this is a really fun way to kind of jazz up your lettering. Yeah, add some emphasis. Yeah. I like how you add an emphasis on the rad. I'm going to do that too. <laughs> Boom. Radiant. Yes. Nice. Did you find it, Mary? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So on our homepage, if you go to um, tutorials at the very top, there's a little yellow free a blurb on top of that and then go to free resources digital downloads is the first one underneath that and if you scoot over to the left you can see that uh, we have our beginner series listed out and uh, you can learn hand lettering step by step with Nicole and you click on that and, and learn along with her awesome thank you boom cool yeah because these are just so great to print out and just practice I love that yeah so what were some other I words? could do that while I was watching a show or just having fun like it Okay, I know another word I was thinking about was hungry. 
Ooh. I am hungry. That is something I say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking worthy. Oh. <laughs> I'll make one for you, Kim. You're going to do hungry? Why not? Hungry. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do your worthy. I'm like, I got nervous. Do it. I got nervous. <laughs> oh, I kind of think it's because to look at your letter shapes and try to do it like that. So I kind of like that W. Because now that I did this one, like, all harsh and straight, I was thinking it might be nice to do, like, a curlier one yeah. for contrast. So. It's a little bit more. But I can still try to fill the space, right, with the curly? Mm hmm Maybe, like, a little. I want you to try and go for it and see what happens. Do it. Do it. I, I, do it. I don't know how to do the O to R connection. <laughs> so, that is an, is an interesting one. Sometimes, I don't even connect it. Oh. And then maybe you want to connect... If you do want to connect, <gasps> I love that. Yes, it. yes, yes. So don't always feel. I think that's another thing is you get caught up that it needs to look a certain way with cursive. So then when you cross your T, maybe you connect it into your H. Come up. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Nailed it. Good job. Can you just always be here when I'm running? <laughs> and then okay. you don't have to connect your Y either if you just want to start it. Yeah. Yeah, because it might be fun if it's like this. Oh yes. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could have looped it more. Nope. No. Nope. But I like it. But then I think I'm, I like the thickening thing, so I might do that again just a I little love bit. That. Oh, this is so fun! I love the TH connection. <laughs> I have to make a quick internet announcement. Okay. Our internet goes keeps going from good to marginal, oh, and no. marginal is not good. So if there's any glitching going on on your end, I apologize. I cannot improve our internet. Okay. Well, thank you for that. You're I'm welcome. Sorry but it will. The glitches should go away after. The fact. Okay, so if it gets it's stuck now, it doesn't mean that it'll be stuck yeah. forever. Thank you. Correct. Catherine says, LOL, Keenan. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was going to mention when you guys were talking about how to start, sometimes if I'm blocked, I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's just start with how I'm feeling silly things immediately. You know, I'm feeling hungry, feeling a little nappy, <laughs> you know? Chris says, Snackalicious is an affirmation, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And a life mission. We have a gas station in the Midwest that calls the in-between snack meal a snackle. Is that what they call it? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's so funny. That's amazing. The, the quick trip place. Quick trip snackle? Yeah. That's, that was new to me. It's like, you need a snackle? You it's like more snackle? than a snack, but not quite a meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sorry, off topic. I got excited. That's a hundred percent in topic, one hundred percent of the time. <laughs> Beverly says we blame you for all the internet glitches, Keenan. Wow! Oh. Wow! Okay, I see. I feel you. Nappy. But does she have some words? That was her word. Nappy. Yeah. Ooh, I'm like going it. with all these. Nappy makes me think of a little kid. So here's the other fun thing that I love about lettering: is you can dress it up. So, because nappy reminds me of little kids, because I love, na I'm a kid and I like to nap, but <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I am a kid. Anyways, is I'm going to draw little circles at the end of my letters, oh. so it feels a little fun and bubbly, even though nappy might be a little bit more of a sleepy word. Ooh, Those I are like just that. round pillows. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think I've seen you do where, like, I like the round pillows. Like, it's like a, not filled in, but like a... Oh, the open? Yes. Because yes. I was thinking I wanted my words oh. to be open. Can my lettering beam open to match open? Yes. Open, open. Oh, yes. Let's do it. I'll do it with you. Okay. I'm going to so watch you write, first. So you will write open first. Okay. So but it's like leave, regular open. So what will help is if you leave a little bit of... I just leave a little bit of space between. But yeah, write open. So this technique is another part of the philography that we were doing. Yes. Okay. And so you're going to add, so for the O's, it's on the left sides of here. So I'm going to add another line, but I'm going to leave space. Ooh. Like, That's what you meant, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So you can eat, you don't, oh yeah, I'm not going to add another one. So I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to add a line to the left there. So More parallel, and those. then to connect it, what you can do is this is another style where they have they're called serifs, but they have little lines little at the feet. bottom. Yeah, the little feet. So you can connect them like that. 
Ooh, that's nice. Yes. Is it too small? Can you see what I'm doing over here? I mean, just look at hers, actually. No, you, we can see both of them. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to do it again where I'm adding, for the curves, think of it like a crescent moon where it gets skinnier and then, yes, and then thicker right there. Okay. And then same thing we did on the P on the end. So you're just going to add another line parallel. Boom. And it actually looks cool, even if you don't add the serif, or you okay. can't add the serif, but if you do, you just add the notch on top. And then we can add another one right here, where I started at the hump, and I kind of went skinny, and then, yep, boom. Okay, I'm, I'm ready, I'm, I practice, do it. I'm doing it. That's smart to do it like that, so we left it open. So, if you wanna leave it open, you can. I also sometimes like to maybe color it in a different color. Yes, ooh, ooh what about got the gelatos. stripes? Oh, yes. Diagonal stripes. Good job, Keenan. So you can also add some decorations in here. So Keenan's idea was to add diagonal stripes. So maybe you add some patterns to that. There's so many fun ways. And again, you are seeing, this is just Jesse and I's handwriting. We're just playing with this, kind of jazzing up our letters. Oh. I kind of like yeah. it. Oh, I like it with the it. Do it. <laughs> I wish I would have done something there, for, but like, but I, it's okay. Maybe I could add a little flourish or something. Or you there. add, a, yeah, a little doodle. Okay, now how do I squeeze in I am in my my petal, my middle part of the flower? Mm, mm. Let's see. So it, you would probably stack it. Ooh, I like that. To fit. Oh, I like your little curve at the end. Oh, I did it. I am. Do it again. <laughs> Got tons of room on the paper. <laughs> no pressure. Maybe I'll make mine a little bigger. I am. Yeah, I like that. Boom. Okay, I gotta have one more where I make you have another one. I'm gonna mispronounce this name, but Danel Del Corso says, oops, I hate when I misspell words adventurous instead of adventurous. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> It is funny. I misspell words all the time, especially when you're writing them over and over again. You think, Wait, is that really how you spell it? <laughs> but what? That's really what it looks like? We did a Halloween one. I think it was two years ago. Yeah. And I did, I was going to do a, a drawing, a art <gasps> piece that said, witches get stitches. But I spelled witches <laughs> instead because <laughs> I missed the C. And it was hilarious. I remember that. I posted it anyway because hashtag no fear. And you did it more than once like that, right? I yeah. That I mean, I, I did it multiple times. I did like four or five different pages of just misspelled witches. Okay. Another connection question. Yes, go for it. I wanted to put love there and I got to the O and I'm like, wait, how do you do the V? O's to anythings are funky. So it's okay. It's normal. So if you curve around like you did like mm -hmm. that, you're just going to start your V right there. Oh. But then with the E, it's a similar thing. So you're going to come down to come up. Ooh. So that's the trick for the VE connection because oftentimes we draw it like that. Well, yeah. that works actually too. Okay. But I like to make them loopy. But you did perfect. So if anyone's ever connecting anything from an O to something and you want it to be cursive, the trick is in this loop. So I come and I come down to come up because if we do an R, you would do that as well. I was going to do love, yes. yes, but I don't have enough room. But I am love also works. I think I like that. I am love. You are. <laughs> I agree. Love, love to all this yeah. entire community. <laughs> oh, Michelle's word is colorful. Ooh, Ooh that's I a good word. That. That's awesome. Penny said her word is open. Nice. Well, we wrote your word in several different ways. Yeah, that's so awesome. some ideas for that. Virginia says, that is your artist liberty, Keenan. Okay, I for I think in in regards to your, I brought scissors for cutting or Halloween. For this. Wait, what? Oh. That was his liberty. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm always using an exacto, but you are free to use scissors if you like, or an exacto, whichever you want. I'm gonna use scissors. That's great. Which is funny. So I went to school for graphic design, and we learned exacto knives, but I don't use them as much anymore. And I love when Jesse started using them because they are, they're very handy. I think it's like drawing with a knife. <laughs> and that makes me feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's violent. No, like oh. drawing with a knife is just drawing, but with a knife. I didn't mean it to be like. Oh, that is nice. Dark or anything. Not scary. I'm not in a dark place. I'm, I'm, I'm love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, Kate. Oh, hi, Kate. How are you? And Cameron is her son, and he does some of our kids' stuff. Fine. Oh. Her word is flexibility. Ooh, I like that. Very important to be flexible. No, nope. especially we don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. next. Cutting tip: If you're doing this with an exacto, I thickened my flour and then I'm just cutting right inside the black, so I don't have to worry about having the white on it. Mm. But that's just a preference. It's not right or wrong. I do the opposite. You like the white, like halo, and that's what you're going for. I guess so. Nice. I didn't really realize it or think about that. Now I kind of cut where I missed my whoop. I just, it's happening. So one thing that you can do after the fact, if you cut it and you didn't like it, you can come back and add some more black to it. That's hard to see on my black. Let me put it right here. Wait. So I just added a little more black on that after the fact. Nice. Ooh, I like that look. I do too. Thanks. All right. So Christina says, drawing with a knife. Ha <laughs> ha, I like it. <laughs> And then Pansy says, try cutting lunch meat with an X-Acto knife. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, well, I can make some cool, like, shapes. Hashtag fun snack ideas. Okay. So sometimes for dinner, when we're having a rough week, I'll say snack dinner, and we'll just get all different kinds of things and put it on a board, and it's like nuts or cheese or meat or whatever. My kids would love it if I, like, made some shapes. Yes. Like, I want to do that now. Do you know Thank what I you. saw recently, Speaking actually? Speaking what? of food cut into cool shapes, I saw someone use their cricket with a tortilla, and they made, like, a dinosaur-shaped... What is a Quesadilla. Thank you. Quesadilla? That's the one. Quesadilla. That's fun. Yeah. Well, I think the craziest shape I've gotten with food is just a heart-shaped cookie cutter for PB&J, but I might have to up my game now. I'm going to mispronounce a name. Again, I'd like to apologize in advance. Uh, Solvig says that they chose the word creative mm. as my word today, which is a wonderful word. Rachel said she chose flexible. Oh, flex we got two of those. Yeah. And I'm going to say this whole name, Judah Bay Gurley. Content and mm. joy. Ooh, content. I love that. Amy wanted to ask what you ladies are doing. Maybe a quick recap from the beginning. Yes. We are playing. <laughs> <laughs> we. I'm just joining Jesse on her lawn yap. So we're doing the I am affirmations and just kind of playing around with adding some lettering. And we're using the pit pen, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we, we just thought we'd take the positive affirmations theme from the art journaling and apply it to a flower. So the middle part is I am, and then the petals are our different affirmations. Nice. And I decided to use words from our community. So I'm just, you all can keep telling me. Zoe's little 10-year-old said his word is passion. Ooh. Ooh. So I added that here. Jenna said, Keenan, your food talk just sent my husband to the kitchen. <laughs> What's he coming back with? I don't know. Uh, Cynthia said, Andrea and her had quesadillas a couple nights ago. Nice. Great minds. And then Amy said, knock it off, Napoleon, and make yourself a dang quesadilla. <laughs> so, who was it? Chris's word is playful, and it made me think of how... We also think of our lettering that they need to be perfect. Whereas when our when I love to do lettering, sometimes I'll do and mix things up. I guess I didn't do it on this one, but sometimes I'll change the angles up a little bit and make them all imperfect. Or Ooh. when I was doing this one, I added some letters are in capitals, so you can see the M's capital, the G's capital. So this just shows again that you can add personality personality to your lettering. It doesn't need to be exactly the same. Yes, I like it. Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get a little color on my page just for fun because I know we we've been doing this for a minute, and I'm so excited to get the color on. Okay, so these are the colors that came in our box. These are some I just grabbed some from my desk. Some of the bright set that we have on our website, and those are really fun. So I'm gonna put those over by you. You could totally use whatever I have over cool. here. Cool. 
And then these are some from the iridescent side. Oh, and I forgot. These come with like Whoa. these like different Snap. sponges that you can use um, to blend or whatever. And it come with a really cool, like, feel that brush. It's kind of like Wait, so this comes with the set? Mm hmm Whoa. Yeah, isn't that such a good That's value? That's amazing, Okay, yeah. so there's all the iridescent colors. And so I thought maybe I should just demo a different color for this. And I'm thinking for my flower petals. It's funny because a couple of people in the group were saying, how come all the projects are pink? I love mixing color. I don't love pink. Like it's not my go-to like favorite color, but it's such a great color like to mix, to make other colors. Yeah. Um, so, but it made me think like, well, I don't want to do a pink flower now. They're going to think I'm all pink and I'm, I'm not always a pink girl. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm going to do purple. I'm doing purple y'all. No, no. Purple's mm. a great color. What about turquoise? Ooh, mm. well, we got nebula in the box. So I was going to go outside okay. of Okay. That. Hmm. But I know Gold. you like turquoise. Ooh, yeah. Maybe fluorescent. This. Odyssey. Ooh. I like Odyssey. Ooh. Like Going a with Toyota. Odyssey. <laughs> Honda. Legacy. I just got a legacy. Legacy. <laughs> All right. Let's so. just start naming so are vehicles you? now. Okay, so we're putting them on. Well, I just thought, okay, where do I want my flower really fast? And then I thought <laughs> I would take it back off and put, put a little color in the background. Yeah, maybe I want my background mm. to be a color. Maybe I'll leave my flower not colored. We'll see how much time we have here. If you guys want to hang out with this for a while, we'll just keep going for a minute. I'm getting lost in these comments. The, the I, community's so awesome. I know, I was just gonna say, we've got a lot of comments <gasps> that I really want to read. There's so many, it's so great. Well, Amy, real quick, Amy wants to know what lanyap is. Oh, it's a Louisiana word, and it just means something, a little extra, a little bonus. So if you got a dozen donuts at the store, you might get some extra donut holes along with that. That's a lawn, yeah. Okay, I put the gelato straight on my um, butcher tray, and I'm going to wet it with my Mavis right here. Mm -hmm. So this just makes it more like a watercolor, and I'm just gonna do like a little wash in the background. Oh. Ooh, look at that shimmer. Love it. Love an Odyssey. And we can go back and add texture or whatever. Can you use any color? You can do whatever you want. There's no rules here. There are no rules. I'm gonna, I am again like a kid and I think these are so fun and I just like to scribble with them. Jesse scribbles on there, I scribble on my paper. Mm -hmm. You can do both. Cause it's very satisfying. I actually did both as well when I did my page. Yeah, you did, I saw you. You were trying all the things. Yeah. And that's we, what our journals yeah. are for. We're not trying to make art for like a gallery wall. We're just having fun making oh. stuff in our um, journal and discovering things. And then if you really love something and you want to make art for your wall, then you can take that idea. But this is for fun. Like we're just having a good time here. I submitted my journal page for a gallery. <laughs> so this is awkward. Oh, you did? <laughs> you got a book that was going to go with a thing. Say that again. The one, the the sketchbook project. Oh one? yeah, that's right. I still have that sketchbook. I never sent it. Wow. Well, I mean, it is a gallery of awesome on Facebook where everyone shares their art journal. That's true. Oh oh oh! Remember how excited I got about this one? Look at this color, <gasps> everyone! Yes. Oh my that goodness, intense. that's so bright. Can I just keep reading things to you guys from yes. comments? Oh, oh, I know what I want to do. I yes. wanna, I'm so, going to do the takeaway. This one's really nice, and it makes me feel warm inside. I don't know if I'm included in this, but it was nice. Jessica said, my daughter was at Children's Mercy, and we have, you have both helped us get through our days. Oh. That's so, mm -hmm. so Jenny, nice. All the good vibes to you. I know. You know okay, so takeaway technique. I just wanted a softer bottom to that for whatever reason. So that's, we did that oh. before. So I just wet my paper towel and rubbed away some of it through the stencil. Oh, that's neat. We did that for one of our other projects, but I just thought the gold would be a nice, subtle one. And you can do this with the baby white, too. I just didn't bring one down. So. Sandy asked, Jesse, what set of Faber-Castell gelatos do you have that you're using? Okay, so the, we have the brights on this side with Nicole, and these are the iridescent ones. So the three that came in your box are a, a, a few that are in that set. So if you really like the iridescent, then all of these other colors come in that set as well. So I'll read off to you some of them. They are, so Mars came with a box, and then we have 
Supernova. These names are my favorite. That's Supernova. <laughs> um, Comet, which I was like, Comet is green? Really? Hm, all right. Huh. Oh, he's also a reindeer. Um, let's see. <laughs> True. Black hole, but it's really like purpley. Look at that color. Oh, no, it's black. It looks like it was purple. Oh, it has a purple oh, shimmer to it. Oh, I it was purple. It. Okay, I got to test this. That's pretty. I'm just going to, well, this is going to end up being a double spread, but it looks, oh, it's black, but then when you turn it, it's purple. Oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my goodness. Do you see that? Can you see that on the camera? That's amazing. Side cam, maybe? I okay, mean, I'm if put you down. put it over in front of Nicole's journal and I can show the side. Oh, my gosh. It's like a Wait, war. farther, farther. I was going to say shape shifter, but that's not the, the right word. To the left. Yeah, okay, there you go. Like it's a shape shifter. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna wear it. I love it that color. Is that yeah, the this Odyssey? This is Odyssey. One? It's so pretty. Boom. So, did we answer what set that is? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't say Bright all. and but iridescent. I'll read a couple more. Bright and iridescent, Sandy. Lunar. Ooh, this looks pretty. I'm gonna just. And these are both on our website. Ooh, lunar is like this. Real, it looks white, but then it has like a pink kind of shimmer to it. Oh my gosh. This is like makeup. Like how it has like that. Really pretty. Sheen. Mm. Mm. I love it. Yeah, what are these? How have I not ever played with these before? What I love about these is they're so portable. Like you could just take them with you in your journal and you get some color without like a lot of mess. Janice noticed that you were holding your pencils different and wondered if it's a special sketch slash detail grip that you use for art. Oh, so I think a common thought is maybe when you're looser in painting you do you may hold your paintbrushes different way especially when sarah does the really light thin line she holds it more vertical and does mm -hmm. the lines like this so there are you can think of it that way if you are doing lettering typically i say just hold it like you hold your pencil hold, hold it like you would write that's what she mentioned she said oh, really? uh, she yeah. it's different from how she learned in writing 60 plus years ago oh really it is uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's interesting. So there are different ways, and I think allow yourself to experiment because we get so stuck in our ways that you think you have to do it a certain way. So I always think just start with what you do and then experiment. Maybe you, I always say when when we were doing the lettering tutorials, maybe you grip a little bit closer and that makes you feel more comfortable. Maybe you're looser and you need to kind of relax and you be a little bit more loose. When we're painting, you'll see we can be really loose with our strokes. So that's I like my that. background. Yeah, that's great. I, I sometimes, if I, get, I feel feeling like it's a little too tight, I will kind of push my hand back on the brush, and then it gives me sort of more organic sort of mark making. So I like to do that. Right now, I'm putting gel medium on my paper and sticking it on with this brush. I'm not going to try and pronounce this much. name because I will absolutely say it wrong, 100%. Okay. Is this someone but uh, they're one of our wondering, friends on YouTube? Yes. Okay. Is there any way to make these letters, I mean fonts, a bit gothis? I'm going to choose mysterious. Gothic. Yes, let's do it. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, wow. Oh, there's a, there's a microphone underneath the paper. Oh, sorry for injuring your ears. <laughs> it's okay. It just caught me off guard. So... The, her words mysterious mysterious Ooh. this is what i love about lettering is that they evoke different feelings so when i think of mysterious there might be a few different ways where and maybe can i see your pencil absolutely i'm going to use my pencil mysterious o u s is that how you spell it no, I. Mary, M Y S T E R I O U S. I can't read it. Oh. I'm upside down. That doesn't look right. Mystery. There's a Y in there. Huh? Where's Steve? <laughs> Man, Let me get you're Steve. putting me on the spot. Anyways, he's going to tell me how to spell mysterious. It is M Y. This would be a Y. Okay, anyways, so what it's, I was going to say is... It's an I. You, you did it right. Oh, I did it right yeah, the first time? Yeah, this is right. Yeah, M-Y-S-T-E-R-I-O-U-S. Okay, again, this is showing where things look funny when you actually sport. write them out. <laughs> is, so I did it in pencil first because what if you think of it and maybe a squiggly lines? I don't know why my brain thought of mysterious. I think my brain thought of a ghost, but kind of sketchy, and I'm just doing squiggly lines over my pencil. So that's a thought. This isn't gothic, which I realized, which is what she had originally said. 
But can you see that? How it Ooh, has that kind of. I love that. It makes me think yeah, of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, that's Doo. cool. Spooky look. So when I think of Gothic, so Gothic tends to be a little bit more black letter, which is a style where they have really thick strokes. Really thick. So if I were to do my lines like that. Ooh, and kind of having the sketchy look might even help too. Oh, yeah. And then the serifs that we were talking about, the little legs, you can make them thicker. So maybe I make these really oh, blocky. Oh, cute. And then maybe with Mysterious, you play with the sizing of the letters. I don't know, maybe the Y is really skinny. But does that make sense? How by playing with the line weight, you can play with adding these serifs to it. So Gothic tends to be a little bit more, yeah, thicker. What were you going to say, Keenan? I'll just say, side note, Jesse's page, a way you can make a spooky, mysterious, it looks like that purple that you used. Mm -hmm. There's like an N. The M shape there, <gasps> but it's it's like black around it. Yeah, that's because I used that black hole. Well, that's super like that cool one. looking. Yeah, I'm into it. This is going to be a whole other vibe on this page when I get done with it. <laughs> mysterious. Oh my gosh. I was trying to read comments for you, but I can't Go read that far. Someone said color shift. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Color <laughs> like, shift. Like sh shape it's a shift, shifty it's shade. Shift. I'm struggling with names today. So I'm going to go with last names. My sister-in-law texts me right before, I'm going to be on the live today. I got so excited. I love how technology can connect us across the miles and we can be with people for a minute. So, hi, Andy. Thanks for being here. Stephanie said, Nicole, I almost said her last name. I almost said she said her last name. That was going to be awkward. Uh, she said, having a tough day at work today, so this is a welcome break. My word today is confident because I can crush this project. Oh. Nice. Booyah. I like that. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's awesome. Nicole, we have a question about your shirt. Oh, snap. Ooh. What's the question? Is it on there? Or do you just want to tell them about it? I love this color. What's the question? There's What's the question? <laughs> what is the shirt? Tell us about the shirt. <laughs> tell us about the shirt. You lettered that, right? Yeah, this was from the very beginning with Let's Make Art when I started to come on. So we have... These shirts are available, and we thought it'd be perfect to wear. So this is a saying that Sarah, you might hear her saying a lot, and it's kind of become the motto here at Let's Make Out, where I'm not mad about it, where if you do something and maybe maybe you want to, maybe you want to naturally be mad about it, you just, we always say, I'm not mad about it, it's okay, it's all good. So this is available, we have, it's a new color, because we had it in black, mm -hmm. that was the only one, right? So we had it in black, and then our team, Desiree made it in this really pretty peachy mm -hmm. color. Yeah. Are there any other colors? Black and peach right now. There we go. So yeah. Nice. I just love how long these sleeves are. I really like a long, oh, I mean, obviously yes. I long sleeves, but oh, I really like how long the short sleeves I didn't realize is. that. I don't know if the black ones are like that, but I love that about this one. Yes. Thanks for asking. Okay, and then Eliz to go back to the mysterious, I want to say this. Elizabeth said for gothic, for whoever asked it, Keenan, for Gothic, you could pull inspiration from Gothic cathedrals and make the letters very ornate. Awesome. Ooh, I that's a that. good idea. Yeah. Very cool. Amalia said, what is marshmallow paste? Oh, oh, it's this light and fluffy <laughs> modeling paste. I got excited. I love this stuff. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it's fun kinda, paste. It's like, doesn't that look like marshmallow -y? <laughs> Like icing or something? Yes. It doesn't, it doesn't smell yummy. It just smells like paint. Mm -hmm. So, um, you won't get it mixed up with something yummy in your kitchen, but I th I, have you seen those jars of the marshmallow, whatever, that's what it is. Anyway, it's really great for adding texture to your journal. You can use it in a stencil or any kind of way you want. And um, I did a previous um, project with it. You can, we can link that in there. Um, yeah, so. Okay, am I using this? Yeah, yeah. I just put some gel medium on our palette for us. Cool. It's just easier. I didn't make realize that mine were really big, so mine aren't are just leaves mine. blowing in the wind. It might be easier to use it with a brush. I already used gel medium in this brush today, which I didn't sure? mean to, but yeah, it's fine. I'll rinse it out really good. I okay. have told them in the past to dedicate a brush for that or whatever, but I forgot to bring that brush with me. It's fine. I'll wash it. 
Oh, I like that your leaves are just like blown in the wind. Yeah. Kind of just ran with it. Didn't really know what I was doing. I just... So I put gel medium on the top of mine too because then I can use the gelato on it without like warping my paper because now I've strengthened the paper with that gel medium. Oh, and I was going to ask, I was going to answer some questions that I saw in the group about what gel medium is. So I will answer that while you're pasting your stuff on. Do it. And then these aren't probably going to be finished projects, but that's okay. We're just having fun hanging out with you. So gel medium is for, you can use it in acrylic paint to thin your paint without changing the integrity of your paint. So when we add water to acrylic paint, then it disperses the particles of the paint pigment, but gel medium will like thin it out without changing that. So that's one interesting thing to know about gel medium um, and compared to like decoupage, because you could use decoupage or mod podge kind of stuff for this. Um, so mm. I like that it's multi-purpose where I can use it to thin my paint, but I can also use it to collage with this way. Um, yeah, and it's different sense. from clear gesso because clear gesso has a grit to it. So it's really trying to strengthen your paper in a way that helps you like start a good foundation so you can layer things on top of it. Oh. And then gesso is just white instead of clear gesso. So we're going to be using those kind of in different boxes in different ways, but I just thought I would spell that out for y'all so you know the difference because I saw a couple of questions. And like I said, our community is really great, great at like going in and answering them, but I just want to make that clear. We really do have the best community. Oh, it's awesome. So thanks you all for being here. We wouldn't be here without you. So true. Casey said she's wearing her I'm not mad about it shirt right now. Nice. <clears throat> We're all together doing this. I like it. And I've got a positive affirmation shirt. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah, because you were wondering what you should wear today, and that was yeah. a perfect shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all got it. Okay, I did. So what's next? Did I? I'm loving that. I want you to show the rest of your journal before we. Um, Wait, I have one question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we here. have a couple announcements. Okay. Okay. Go. Uh, hi. Why does my paper always pill in my journal, but it doesn't look like yours does? What, always what? Pill. Pill. P-I-L-L. P -I -L -L. Oh, okay. So sometimes if your brush is wet and you're going back and forth a lot, mm. like then I'm going to do it on purpose. It will start picking up the page. So you're just changing the integrity of your paper by doing that over and over. So if you want to be blending, you just need to do it quickly and then kind of let whatever happens. But if you go over it, over it with water, then that will happen. Is that, see how that's not peeling and that is kind of starting to peel up a little mm, bit. So just don't go as much over it with water. Yeah, mm. less water and then just less times going over. Hope that helps. But you know, if, if that happens, you can always put gesso on it, cover it up, <laughs> whatever. That's what I love about our journaling. You just keep layering over things that maybe you were not liking, that's all right. Can you put the gel medium dying. over lettering? I just did it over this. Nice. Is that what you mean? So I was waiting for it to dry, and I wanted to show you that you could, like, if I wanted to add a little more, like, yellow onto this in some spots, you can. And then if I wanted to blend it, let's see. What color was I saying I wanted my... Where's that? Purple. Where's the purple? I had a purple. You had a purple? Nope. There it is. It's hiding under there. This is that black purple, though. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, whatever. I'll just use this stardust to blend with that yellow. So anyway, I don't have to worry about my copy paper not being strong enough because it's got gel medium over it, and then we can... So it's like a protective paper. layer over that yeah. that you can paint up? Yeah, and you can get really dark with it if you want. Like, when this is wet on top of that, it will get really vibrant. Yeah, can you hear me that? Mm, let's try. Are any of those black? Nope. I'll try the blue one. So I saw someone ask, what are lettering pens to try out? Ooh, good idea. Deborah asked, what are my favorite pens to do lettering with? So there are so many different pens. And so when we were doing our our lettering here at Let's Make Art, we use Tombow brush pens a lot. So there's a few different ones. I wish, let me grab it really quickly. Ooh. We got some around, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep blending this while she's doing that. Boom. Okay. So, oh, I'm gonna see what this Sharpie pen does on top 
Or this. Sorry, just got really excited. Okay, so there are so many different Tombow Duo brush pens, and I really like these because there's such a big array of colors. So I know we sell these on our website. Now, if you are new to lettering and you just wanna try things out, like we said, go to our free tutorials. Tutorials, yes. Tutorials, there's a little free, yep. little yellow guy that you'll see. Yep. And then you can either, you'll click, you'll see digital downloads, but you go to our beginning lettering series. Yes, you can find both. So you can find oh, the, you can go the, both. Okay. the lettering um, sheets and the digital downloads. And then uh, you can also download them from that beginner series, which along with uh, supplies that you need and the downloads also has all the fun tutorials with you. And uh, we have a we have the beginner series for both art journaling and watercolor. Mm -hmm. So that will be there as well if you happen to see that. But what I was going to say is there's all these free downloads that you can get. And I would just experiment with maybe you buy one of these pens and you experiment. This is an ABC download that you can get and you can practice with them. So I love these pens because you can get both thick and thin lines by the amount of pressure that Ooh. I'm applying. And you're just tracing that gray? I can't mm -hmm. even see it. No, it is really light, so I'm just tracing over this. I'm just saying once you trace over it, I can't even see it. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So the Tombow Dual Press pen is a good one. If you're a beginner and you want to try out, and actually whether or not you're a beginner, I really love the Tombow Fudano Suke. So you can see the difference between the size of the tip. So if this might be a good one for lettering too, and I want to play with this on top. I don't know if this will go on top of this. Let's see. I'm gonna try and write community. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, it kind of, oh. nope, it doesn't really work. Keep going, Jesse. Okay, when she was saying like, how come your paper peels up, that's one advantage of putting that gel medium over before you put this medium on uh, the gelato on top of it, it won't mess up the paper because you got like a nice surface. So I just wanted to throw that in there, sorry. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, this pen won't work on the gelatos, but it'll work on all your other papers. Oh, but if you put the gel medium over top of the gelato, then you have a slick surface to letter on again. So that's oh. a, that will help you when you're, so it makes media gets tricky a lot of the way. Sometimes things don't layer well, so then you have to use other That makes tricks. sense. Okay. Next time I'll do that. But I was going to say, I also have, I really love, this is a Sharpie fabric pen. And we used it in our, we had a tote bag tutorial that we did, which was on fabric. And when I ex experimented with it, I absolutely love it. Do you see how juicy that Ooh. is? Juicy. That's juicy. a good word. That should be on a leaf. <laughs> I am juicy. <laughs> you knew that for you. So I was going to say, this is a really good brush pen that I really really love but the beauty about lettering is that you can use anything commune i didn't spell that right community <laughs> you just need an eye in there there's my eye oh, thanks okay. mary <laughs> <laughs> okay so those are the things where we have in the beginning lettering series you'll be able to see all the different pens that i suggest i think there were a few other questions oh okay let's answer some more questions before we wrap it up someone joined us from poland Oh, nice. And Norfolk, UK. In the nice. bathtub. Yes. Nice. Way to relax. Oh, that sounds so nice Just right now. Just need some nice jams. Can you feel the love? That... No. Not the Sarah right says, jams. try dipping the gelato in water before drawing. Oh, yeah. That's fun, too. Do we, should we show them that? Yeah, do that. Okay. I just dipped it in water, and then... So it's richer Whoa. than that bun. So Ooh. let me show you the dry. Not sure what this, what? The same color. this is dry. But then if you dip it in just a little bit of water, you get that rich. Dang, that's, that's and it looks cool. smoother. Thanks for calling that out. That's great. Jean Dobry. Oh, Molly said my kids heard Nicole's voice and came running to watch the tutorial. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's what you want to say. So, um,. I was just gonna say while the kids brought, got brought up is that we have our March boxes coming up that we're, I'm so excited about this. Have you seen all these projects? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen them all. Oh, okay, so in this box, in this tutorial, you'll Move get all, this out of the way. all the watercolors that we're doing, but I just wanted to show really quickly the different projects because this is available right now and we have some left over that you can get. So we, it's a perfect time for St. Patrick's Day, it's coming up. So. My We're husband's doing birthday gold. is on St. Patrick's Day, so we have to make that for his birthday. There we go. Yes. I love it. And then the leprechaun hat, which you may see 
a random leprechaun in the video. <laughs> Wearing a random hat <laughs> in that tutorial. Oh, he did that one actually. Oh, cool. I like that one. I like the layering on that. And yeah. the blooms are really good. Wow. I think this one was you. Yeah. That, that was, was mine. That was. Oh, and look at all this pretty blooms here. That's beautiful. Wasn't this one yours? I don't think so. Or was this one mine? That's way too clean. <laughs> Oh, and then so a couple different things that we're really excited about is this one we're doing a horse, which I know is a popular one that kids were asking for, or parents were asking for their kids. So yeah, this my was, kids are like, can you draw a horse? I'm like, uh, I mean, I think I can. <laughs> well, so actually the horse is a, it's an outline that we oh, do. Nice. So I had it where, do you see how this is Ella's and I's? It's in and the exact same spot. Yeah, they're in the exact same spot. So it's an outline, but it allows for the freedom of all the different colors. She added different spots to it. Wait, so the outline's all on the paper, mm -hmm. like printed on it? Yes. Yeah, so oh. if you get our box or you get it as a kit, the outline is already printed on the watercolor paper, so they can use it right off the bat. That's so fun. So that's that. Um, so yeah, those are available right now that you can jump on with us in March. And then, have you seen these yet? Not all of them. I so, saw one. In each box, you get a little patch, but we want to say we now sell them individually, which we're excited yes. about.